So I'm just installing Blackmagic Raw. I'm gonna just test out and see how it how it all you know flows. Literally taking in some raw files, and I think that I know I'm not looking to have the the air actually or the the, the laptop actually be able to use raw files smoothly. I would like to, you know, convert them in in DaVinci Resolve and then use the 1080p or even 4K smaller uh, bitrate files and, and use those in my end uh, product. So let's see. Um, let's just, just, just go for it. Let's just see how we are. We've got Lightroom open. We've got Microsoft Teams and Zoom and Dropbox and all these things going on. I mean, we're kind of stressing out the base model here. So I'm opening up Premiere. Um, we've got the SSD over here plugged in. I'll just bring this to a nicer viewing spot for you guys. And I'll just adjust the aperture accordingly, get some better levels here. Okay, so let's uh, let's drag and drop our media. That's the way I like to do it. Black Magic Raw uh, SSD. Yep. So we can delete that. I'm just gonna drag everything in, and uh, we've got some 6K footage here. No way. And, uh, okay, so this is playing back. That's a 6K Blackmagic raw footage shot with a 12 to 1 compression. And that's me failing at opening up the, uh, doing the total unboxing thing. Okay, so we're, we're getting a few skipping frames here, but this is totally usable in my view. I mean, this is raw footage directly into the program. We can go to one sixteenth, and obviously the quality is going to be a bit less, but this is more than usable. Oh, Lord. What have you done, Apple? You've created something that just destroys everything else once again, and that's why you guys are amazing. Damn it. RIP PC. Anyway, let's um, let's just uh, let's just have a look at all these clips here. So this is in one sixteenth. Let's just go to one eighth because that seems to have a better look here. Okay, so it's kind of working pretty well. Um, so yeah, this video is just like a little raw clip. That I'll send to you guys on YouTube, and um, you can you can be the judge. But okay, we're in the metric color, and uh, we don't have anything selected, so we'll select that clip. We'll just add some contrast, bring the shadows down, curves. I mean, El Basico, warm it up a little bit, maybe. Add yeah, okay. So look at that, got a nice looking clip there. And we're playing it back at an eighth quality. And you can see my reflection. <laughs> looking all stressed out. Trying to work out the best angle, which I don't think is necessary for this stuff. I think I'm just going for it. And we've got ourselves a machine that's performing extremely well. Let's jump into Lightroom here and uh, get the flagged f photos that we've chosen here that we've kind of processed to, to a reasonable extent. Select them all, export out. Um, just for this one, let's just put it, let's just, oh, getting a bit of spinny. I mean, we're, we're playing back, <laughs> we're playing back a, a, a 6K clip 
clips in a in a timeline and we're going to be just exporting these photos at the same time now this is something you wouldn't do but i mean as technology guys oh we have we're crashing it we're crashing the computer i mean i don't want to do this i feel bad for it <laughs> all right let's go into premiere if we can and just pause that which we can which is i mean there's no crash happening and Lightroom has almost finished completing the exports on the clips. Another one for the uh, MacBook Silicon. Dear Lord. Okay, so it's done. Now if we go to the desktop. I mean, this is the base model. <clears throat> oh, an untitled export. Yep. And there we have it. We've got our images we can just go and look at of the full moon. Go back into Premiere. Play some clips back. That's that's amazing. We've got some slow motion style shots. I mean, look at the scrubbing. Can you guys even see? Like, look at this scrubbing. I could just scrub all day. It's almost as fun as scrubbing dishes. It's somewhat, I mean, jeez, I am absolutely blown away. I'm not even kidding here. I mean, let's just copy this Lumetri color and just, just drop one on everything and playing back um, pretty well there. Wow, that was a nice clip. <clears throat> let's, uh, Let's, let's slow that down. 50 frames. Wow. All oh, right. And let's do that test. The uh, good old warp stabilizer test. Now, with a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. My mistake, we have to nest the sequence, nest it up, warp stabilizer, throw it on. Over here. It's taking a while. Now, stuff like this, warp stabilizing 6K clips in RAW, you know, you know you, 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 the only thing about the PC is that you can do that. And you can do it relatively quickly for complex tasks such as this. But it's almost like you're telling someone, you know, to lift something that's like 20 times their weight and getting 100 people to do it, humans. Whereas you could just like get a robot to do it, you know, and, and do it in a smart way. I can't really explain what I'm trying to think here. Um, but... It's just a logical workflow, this M1. It's logical. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too long, but uh, yeah. You can see we're at 3%. I'm just going to cancel that. That's just stressing out the system. Uh, battery's at 96%. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not mad at all. That's lovely. I mean, I just want to edit this whole video, YouTube video on uh, my... MacBook. Little pod, little podcast in the background. Wow, this is snappy. And that's me writing some notes. Jeez.
Yep. This is crazy. <laughs> well, I'll show you the, uh, the final result video soon and um, we'll see how it goes.